Let me show you how to quickly personalize your downloaded ballparks without any software downloads to make the park feel truly yours. This works great with expansion teams, minor league teams, and fictional leagues. I recently played a save in the MLB Partner Leagues. This is Nielsen CP's rendition of Daler Park in Billings, Montana, which I fit to host today's real-life Pioneer League team, the Billings Mustangs. I also made the old Comiskey Park the new home of the American Association Chicago Dogs. Here is Silva M14's rendition of Ebbets Field converted to be the home of the Atlantic League Staten Island Ferry Hawks. If you want to be able to do this on your own, keep watching. The prerequisite step is downloading and applying one of the ballparks from the Out of the Park Baseball Developments forums. If you've never done this before, the description has links to a few tutorial options that you should check out before continuing here. Let's say we're managing in the AAA Pacific Coast League as the Albuquerque Isotopes, and as luck would have it, Isotopes Park is available in the OOTP Development forums. Let's check it out by going to Team Settings, Edit Ballpark, 3D model. This is what it will look like in-game. You can click and drag to look around in the 3D environment. The mountains in the back look cool and the left field scoreboard says Albuquerque on it. However, the stadium is home to a team called the Coyotes who have a different color scheme than the isotope and it doesn't completely feel like our home because of this, but we can fix that. Let's start by looking through the stadium files that you downloaded from the developments forum. Most users save their ballparks in Out of the Park Developments, OOTP Baseball 24, Ballparks, Models, and then I named this stadium folder Isotopes Park, and then it should have a folder that has the word textures in it. The common misnomer is that these stadiums are from a single 3D model, but they're really a collection of individual pictures that are carefully positioned. Each of these components in my File Explorer pane on the left side of your screen is part of the stadium on the right hand side, you can see the 7-Eleven, Adidas, and Amtrak signs by the right center field scoreboard. If I scroll down the folder, you can see the logo that's painted behind home plate, and at the bottom, in the image that comprises the primary video board. Altering the stadium is as simple as replacing these individual files with something else you want. Let's start with the logo behind home plate. It's a square-shaped PNG file with a transparent background. We want another one of those. A Google search for Albuquerque Isotopes logo PNG will reveal plenty of options. Here's a good one that is transparent and square shaped. I'm going to right click, choose save image as, find my Isotopes Park Textures folder and save it right over the field logo PNG file. It will ask if you want to replace the file, confirm yes. To check if it worked, just click on another tab and come right back to the 3D model in OOTP. And there it is. Let's do the top of the dugout next. These odd shaped pictures are tougher to find naturally. My secret weapon for these is MILBstore.com. The top banner of the team pages is usually a great fit for a dugout top. However, we have two small problems. First, the file time is different, and second, it's horizontally oriented while the version in the stadium is vertically oriented. My go-to hack is to right click the image, copy it, and paste into PowerPoint. With the picture selected, go to Picture Format and rotate left 90 degrees. Finally, we'll right click on the picture again, select Save as Picture, find that ballpark folder, change the file type to PNG, save it with the same file name, and then confirm the overwrite. And once again, go to a separate OOTP tab and come back to check your work, and there it is again. As you do this a little bit more, you'll likely discover some small additional hacks that can help make the images fit more ideally. You can crop images, merge images, and even incorporate your own stuff. As long as you're replacing images with generally similar orientation, you're fine. Now you can replace as many of the images as you'd like to mod this stadium to your liking. Here's a new right field scoreboard. I don't like the Budweiser sign in right field, so here's an ad for a local Albuquerque brewery instead. And don't forget to look behind you Here's some new infield banners using the same image we applied to the dugouts. I'd like to share a special thanks to all the stadium creators out on the OOTP development forums. None of this is possible without their great work, so thank you all. Please put a like on this video if it was helpful, and subscribe if you want to be notified of future videos on this channel. Now get out of here and go make some ballparks.